This was uh, about three weeks after arriving back in Australia. And as you can see, I was still in full quadriplegia. And if you have a look at the right hand, the fingers are still all curled up. And I know, I remember at that stage, I still couldn't press the nurse call button. But I, from the video, it looks like I had more movement than I remembered. And you see the, the, the tubes coming out of my right arm? That's for the, that's the pick line for all the IVs and stuff. So I was still really fucked up. I just had the, the trachea tube removed from the neck. But that, that is actually more movement than I remember. Um, and that was after arriving back from the US 20 kilos lighter. Because I, I lay in bed for like two, three months without being able to move. All, all the muscles were atrophied. And at that stage, the whole time there's always someone behind me holding me. And you, you can see her hand come up to hold my head sometimes. But I had no core muscles, so I couldn't hold myself up. But I, I'm surprised I actually moved a bit more than I thought. Um, and if you can see how much I was straining, you know, I, I was really, really trying. Um, that, that, that's the benefit of not, not being in bad, like I, I was never depressed. So, you know, that, that didn't hold me back. All I wanted to do was get better. I, I didn't care about anything else. I didn't care how hard it was, you know. I, I just wanted to get better. And, and even in that condition, you know, with a hole in the neck, with, with tubes coming out of my arms and, you know, <laughs> you know, adult diaper shitting and pissing on myself. I still went and did the work. I didn't care. You know, you, you, you got to show up. If you don't show up and just go, Oh, nothing can be done. What do you think is going to happen? There can be no improvement. You know, you guys know I'm walking now. This is how I started. I started even worse than this. This, this is um, three, how many? Uh, in near the uh, middle of February. So, yeah, it's uh, th three three months after after my stroke. You see that that movement, she has to help me because I, I, I didn't have the strength to pull, to pull that back. Yeah. No, I, I, I'm recording this for people who are open-minded, who, who, who want to heal. You know, there are people that, that don't want to heal. You know, those I can't help. You know, the, those can they just, uh, they better see their doctors, you know. But I record videos for people that want to try it. They, they want to, you know, break out of this this hole they're in. This is the only reason I'm working. I've got better things to do with my time than make videos, you know. This is for people that want to heal, that really want it. And, you know, and all the haters, I don't really care. I recovered and I'm walking, and I will recover even more. So all the haters, I, I don't really care, you know, go back to your chair and sit there and feel sorry for yourself, I don't really care. I record videos, I make videos for people that want to heal, for people that, that want to recover. And this is uh, basically a full seven years later, and this is with 12 kilos, and I totally forgot. I got the five kilo first, and that was too heavy. I, I couldn't lift it. This is only a year ago. And then I, I dropped down to three, and then the, I got the three and built it up from there. And, and then I, I used the five, and then seven, 10, and, and 12. And this is a 10 kilo chest flies. Actually, flies is actually pretty hard for, for 10 kilos. That, that's not bad for someone, you know in a wheelchair, so you just keep on building it, don't, don't, don't say you can't do it. You see, I, I got the five, that was too heavy, I got the three, you know, once I built it up, I started using the five, once the five was okay, I got the seven, and then I got the ten, and now I got the twelve. Thirteen. Now I've been exercising for seven years, and the biggest problem I see is the mind, their mind says it can't be done.